Hello guys and welcome to another edition of All NBA 24-7. I'm your host, Rishi Kapoor, and tonight's episode, episode number 73, I'm going to be discussing with you guys my thoughts on LeBron James' debut last night. So LeBron James played the way, you know, he normally plays. You know, he had 26 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists. He had a great stat line, and he did what he normally does. Um, it's just all about the other guys. It's all about finding that, you know, primary second option. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Brandon Ingram? Is it going to be um, Kyle Kuzma? Is it going to be Josh Hart? You never know who is going to be that second option. I believe it's going to be Ingram, who, you know, started off very slow during the game last night and then finished off with 16 points. Um, I was very encouraged by what I saw by the Lakers. They got, they got after it defensively. Um, and LeBron James set the tone. And, you know, you really heard his voice loud and clear. He was mic'd up uh, during the game, for example, on one play. Um, I believe a player on the team fell down and LeBron James saw him getting up on his own. LeBron James went over and went over to him and told him that don't get up. Your brothers will come. As soon as you fall down, your brothers will come and get you. And he's setting the tone. He's setting the brotherhood, right? Um, and it's game one right now. You know, no need to get, um, you know, crazy uh, Lakers fans, you know, and, uh, you know, it's only the opener. Um, and LeBron James, this was an interesting note that LeBron James and his um, every time he has started, you know, for example, his first opener with the Cavaliers, um, his opener with the Miami Heat, his open again with Cleveland, and now with the Lakers, he's always lost uh, the opener every time he he goes to a new team. Um, so this is nothing new. Obviously, it's game one. No need to panic. Um, but, you know, I was really encouraged by what I saw by the Lakers. You know, they played as a unit, um, and there were times where they were down by 10 points and really came back. Um, and never gave up and came back um, to get themselves back in the game. Um, ultimately, they lost, but they lost against a Portland team that's very underrated, in my opinion. A team that finished third in the West last year and a team that doesn't get enough credit. I believe no expert, no analyst out there has even chosen Portland to make the playoffs. And this team has a lot of chemistry. They have a great chemistry. Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum are the second uh, best backcourt, in my opinion, in the NBA, um, you know, right under. Um, right under Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry. So um, they don't get enough credit, but, you know, they're playing very well. Yusuf Nurkic, um, you know, is another player that um, is pretty good for Portland. So, um, and it's very tough to win up there. You know, Portland finished 28-13 and 13 at home last season. So it's very tough to go up there in the Rose Garden and get some wins. Um, so the Lakers have nothing to feel discouraged about. Lakers fans don't have to worry about anything. Um, and, uh, you know, I expect them, you know, to win their home opener. LeBron James makes his home debut tomorrow. Um, and I, and I bet that, um, you know, he will, he will win, uh, tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I was very encouraged by what I saw by LeBron James, um, you know, and, uh, and the team collectively, you know, like I like what I saw by them. This is all about getting the chemistry together, um, getting the rhythm together, um, and just playing together more and more games. But I had this team. Uh, getting to the Western Conference Finals and winning over 50 games, so um, I believe that they will finish second in the uh, in the West, in my opinion. But I was very encouraged by what I saw by LeBron and the Lakers. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of LeBron James' debut and his team and how they did. Let me know in the comment section below. I look forward to reading your comments, guys. The NBA season is here. I've got a lot more videos I'm going to be talking about. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.